In this case, the artwork that we're going to build for the design is going to be a dog's head. And we've got a photograph that we're going to use in order to help us to build this. So to start with, we're going to open that photo, which is in a JPEG format. Set the size up roughly to the size that we're going to use it, although that can be edited later. And here is the photo that we're going to start work from on this project. There are a number of ways to approach this particular project. In this case, because we have quite a good quality photograph, I'm going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to use ArtCam to build the basic shapes for the model. Then we're going to use the photograph as a texture to apply over the top. At this stage in the process, the first job is to create vectors over the key areas that we're going to build up of the dog's face. A nice tool to help us to achieve this is the ability to fade out the bitmap. What this allows us to do when we start to construct these vectors is very easily see where they fit inside of the part and even in conjunction still with the bitmap behind them. This is an extremely powerful tool. Not only that, ArtCam has extremely useful vector editing tools that allow me to powerfully go in and work the vector to achieve the exact shapes that I'm looking for. Now to produce all the shapes that I'm going to need for this design would take a few minutes so we're just going to jump forward to the point where I've created all the vectors we're going to need for the modelling. At this stage we've created all the vectors we need and we can start to use these in the modelling process. In order to see what's happening let's tile the windows so we can see both the 2D view and the 3D view over on the right here and we'll be able to see the parts build up as we create the shapes. Typically we're going to start with the shape which effectively is the furthermost back in our design. Bring up the shape editor, we're going to assign it a shape, in this case we've got a 20 degree round, and hit add. And you can see in the 3D view that we've started to build up the shapes that we're going to need. Essentially you work your way through the different shapes inside of the software now. If we select the next one, bring up the shape editor, and again we can put in the values that we want and we can merge that in with the part we've already created. And slowly we can start to build up each of the individual shapes that we're going to need as we work our way through the whole model of the dog. Again, this is going to take a few minutes, so for the purposes of time we'll jump forward to the point that I've created all these basic shapes. After we've created the basic shapes, we have a pretty good looking facsimile of our dog's head. Next we're going to use the interactive sculpting tools that ArtCam has in order to smooth out the different areas to create a more natural looking blend of shapes. In order to do this we're going to use the interactive sculpting tools. To help us do a better job of creating the sculpting that we need we're going to create an area to mask off. By going in, copying these outer vectors putting them onto a different layer and then using ArtCam's vector merging tools in order to blend them together we can create a nice border shape. What we can do is now mark that with a colour and fill the area we need around the outside of our dock. Now when we go into the interactive sculpting we're able to drag and select that background colour and exclude it from the work that we do with the sculpting tools to ensure that we don't damage this hard edge that we've got around the outside. Now we can go in and start to sculpt the different shapes that we've got in the design here in order to create this more natural look. To start with I'm going to use the smoothing tool and we can just start to work our way around on the ear here and blend this down to produce the more natural looking blend that we're looking for, to blend the ear into the top of the head there and also to go around areas like the patch that we've got on the eye here and also where the jaw meets the face and the nose in order to start to blend these to get a much more organic flow between the different shapes that we've got in the design. We can also use things like the smudge tool in order to take areas like the nose and just drag them up into our design to change the shape that we're building. Again, this is going to take a few minutes as we work our way around the design, so we'll jump forward to the stage where all the sculpting and smoothing has been done. In this case, we've kept the model quite simple. The reason being that we're going to use a very powerful tool in ArtCam in order to create a texture over the top of our dock. So we can finish in the sculpting tools, go to the texturing. You can see there are many standard textures within ArtCam, 
but probably the most powerful thing you can do is texture with an image and in this case we're going to use the original image create a three dimensional texture of that image and actually paste that like a blanket over the top of the design we've got here so we just set up some values we put in that we want to add that onto what we've got and then finally what I'm going to do is just take and zero the area around the outside to get rid of the pieces we don't need so you can see we've created a very nice texture over the top of the model that we already had to really bring this shape alive and give it a lot of realism to finish our model off we do some additional sculpting one of the things with the texture that you tend to find is sometimes a little too much detail will be picked up from the photo or there could be a lot of noise in it so what we can do is come in and use the sculpting tools in order to do things like smooth the area on the, the nose and the eyes there where we know that this would be smooth we can even use it in order to add detail to the model as well and one very powerful tool is being able to project the 2D view into the 3D what that means is that you can take and you can even do things like use the model to accurately line up for instance carving extra material out from the nose or something like that and so you can see we can make that more definite and many other areas that we could work on here in order to tweak and finish our model until we're completely happy with it at this stage we would finish once we are happy and we would save this model out perhaps altering its size at this point and we'd be ready to use that later on inside of our metal design